Here we are in Loal Valley, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. This is where we make our magical honey. I've always been a big believer in honey as an all-around natural health remedy. It is rich in natural sugars, enzymes, and vitamins, and it is ultra-nourishing. It is a natural beauty secret that's been passed down to generations as far back as ancient times. And when I'm sick, my favorite remedy is a Canesia tea with honey. A Canesia and honey mixed together make a very effective remedy. These are the two star ingredients of Freshest Cremancienne Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. And they were my inspiration. The major innovation in Cremancienne Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask is the high content of superior honey. Each jar contains two and a half tablespoons of pure honey comprising almost 40% of the formula. Not only we're able to incorporate such a high concentration of this effective natural ingredient, but we we'll also find a way to give it a rich creamy texture that rinses off with no residue. When you put it on, it's like nothing else. And the results are equally amazing. But it wasn't easy to bring this remarkable product to the market. My dream sent me and my research and development team on a four-year journey to find the world's highest quality honey. Fresh sources its honey from a Backfast bee breeder in the Loire Valley, right here, in this gorgeous, beautiful environment, which is known as Garden of France for its lush, verdant environment. The Backfast bee is not your average bee. It is a special hybrid species developed by Brother Adam in early 1900s at a monastery in England. He crossed several bee species, important from around the world, to obtain a solid, gentle, and highly productive species. It took a lot of passion to bring this vision to life. But I'm so proud of this product, Freshest Cremancienne Ultimate Nourishing Mask, not only offers an addictive experience like no other, but it's also so effective. We took honey and echinacea to a whole other level and it really works.